Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you a panther, a Hoover panther, wet and dry carvac. This little machine popped up on eBay recently as a buy it now. I think I put in an offer which was accepted. This is model S1316, Hoover panther, wet and dry carvac. Aspirator, blah, 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 blah. Aspirator, liquid per auto. That's all the foreign I know. So here it is. It's got the original box, as you can see, and uh, with some pictures on the back showing picking up dirt in the car, including some spilled milkshake, I think that is, possibly. And you might be able to date this a bit more accurately. It's got a sticker on the side. It says, da -da -da -da. Mm, no, there's no date. No. There may be a date in all those uh, numbers, but I can't decipher it. I'm sure this is a 90s cleaner. I'm sure I've got some 90s Hoover leaflets or brochures that feature this at the back. And the Panther is basically based on the Hoover double duty cordless machine, that uh, wet and dry machine. So it's really the same, but it has a cord that plugs into the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. I've had this open and I've actually done a demo part of this before filming the unboxing. That's the magic of video editing. You can uh, film things and put them in any, or any order you want to. So we've got a very long cable. It is long enough. I cleaned uh, a Skoda Kodiak with it. Well, some of a Skoda Kodiak, and there was certainly enough room, although that particular car, I think, has got three of these 12-volt sockets. It's got one at the front, one for the passengers, and there's also one in the boot. I plugged this into the boot socket, and I could clean the uh, footwells of the driver seat. So we'll take out the machine. It was a little bit dusty when I initially got this, and I've cleaned it up, so it's cleaned up very well looks almost new we do have two tools with this a crevice tool for the nooks and crannies and a squeegee for picking up liquids on a hard surface we've also got which i haven't looked at yet the instruction book and hopefully the filter is washable because i have washed it pretty sure it will be because it takes liquids so yes uh, we've got uh, just showing you, oh, they're showing you actually cleaning the filter with a duster. Well, that's not going to be very effective. The filter was quite dirty when I got this. It obviously had a bit of use. Cleaning the reusable filter. Remove all debris. Uh, oh, yes, you can. If filter is very soiled or wet, wash filter with hot soapy water. Again, using a soft brush. Rinse if necessary. Dry thoroughly before using. So there we go. Is there any dates on this? Oh, there's a date. This is 1994 on this. Well, that's when this was printed. And it was printed in the UK. So I'm wondering whether this car back was made in the UK or another place. It's certainly not made in China because we do have a little sticker on the back because the label says made in EC, which is the European community as far as I know. So it wasn't made in China. Hoover wet and dry car vac model S1316, 12 volt DC, serial number S1316, 609719091051. Uh, I wonder if the, the dating is the same. This could be from 1996 then. Sounds about right. I have owned one of these Panther car vacuum cleaners from new, but unfortunately my dear departed dog Rupert, when he was a puppy, he managed to get hold of the cable somehow. I don't know why I'd left it within his reach, but I must have done. And he chewed through it and I just foolishly just binned it without thinking I could have bought another cable or a cheap car vac and replaced the cable. But I was foolish and just binned the thing. So when I saw this, I thought I'll get it because it's part of my collecting history. And um, it's an interesting little machine and fairly rare I suspect it said it was rare anyway in the listing so who am I to judge so it's just got a little button that you have to keep held in to uh, operate the cleaner and uh, that's about it to empty the dust cup we've got a button here 
which we press and the dust cup comes away and here's the motor unit with a plastic fan behind that grill there very lightweight and compact so to empty we have to remove the washable filter and tip out the wet or dry debris there's no sort of float valve with this so it'll only pick up a small amount of liquid but I suspect and I've never tried this but if if you pick up too much it's just going to start coming out before it reaches the motor it'll just come out the end if you pick up too much it's for very small spillages really possibly a can of coke maybe not even a full can of coke and here is the the filter that comes out and this is looking a lot whiter it's still a bit gray but it was much dirtier than that so i did wash that filter but that was after i made the video that you're going to see a little bit of a demo i did in the car it smells very nice now so that's the filter with a, a rubber seal around it so you have to ensure that that's inside that way around inside the filter holder you've got to push it in that's it make sure it's yeah you've got to make sure it's flush and then you pop it back in the cleaner it's only going one way and that's the way it goes there we go and it's got a nice tight seal and then to fit it on the motor unit you locate it at the bottom first there's a little lug here and a hole at the bottom and you just locate it that's it clips into position and you're ready to clean you can use the hoover panther just as it is for cleaning your carpets and upholstery but for the nooks and crannies you can attach the crevice tool like so and you can get in between the car seats around the edges of the car carpet all those little areas i had to use this because the day I filmed the demo of this, I'd taken some vacuum cleaners to my storage unit, including a Miele Art, and I hadn't emptied the bag or removed the bag. And as I took it out of the car, it spilt all this demo dirt. There was a lot of red lentils. So that's what you'll see this cleaner picking up initially, the dirt that um, I made a mess of in, in the car. I thought, oh, I better pick that up. So I thought, well, it's an ideal opportunity to try this cleaner out because I've had it a couple of weeks. So you'll see how it did in the video and it did reasonably well i'll uh, insert the video footage now
So for picking up light dirt and dust and for keeping your car spick and span, it's fine for that. But to give the car a deep clean, I would have had to take a Henry out there or my Mila cat and dog, something with a turbo brush, definitely. But you could keep this in your car just to keep it clean if you're very, very sort of car proud as opposed to house proud and you always wanted your car to be spotless keep this put it in a little bag keep it in your boot if your kids spill drink you can always get the worst up using the double duty with the you know wet mode well there's no wet mode because basically you just use it you don't have to change anything over you can pick up wet or dry and you can pick up i would say for picking up if if something was spilt on a carpet or the upholstery you'd probably use the machine just like this but on a hard surface you've got the squeegee which just pushes in let's see that way isn't it there we go so now you've got this little squeegee nozzle and you can use that for picking up liquids off a hard surface so there you go i think that's all i can say about this little machine it's just another hoover cleaner to add to the collection it's nice to have it's a little bit scratched, I'd say I've just cleaned it, but a bit of wax polish on this will get it looking even better, but it's still in pretty good condition. If you have any comments or questions about this Hoover Panther, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.